hello hello how are you i am back again and today i am doing a perfume review of a perfume i've literally never spoken about before and i literally don't know how i have managed to make all these joe malone videos and never talked about this perfume it seems crazy anyway the perfume is of course peony and blush suede which you know from the video title can we get this bad boy in focus there we go now we're in focus okay peony and blush suede so i'm already wearing it but i'm gonna spritz a little bit more just to just because i can you know just because i enjoy it so much so, so this perfume at the first at the first hit is obviously the red apple it's just lovely it's juicy it's fruity it's it's exciting it's just really fun and i don't know carefree and lovely and flirty and I don't know, simple and supple and I don't know, just kind of humble, but kind of lovely and exciting. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just gorgeous. And then you get the 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 floral notes to come through. And the peony is just so beautiful and full and summery and pink. Like it's really pink, it's really girly, it's really lovely. The jasmine is like not too jasmine-y, it just adds a little bit of like sparkle. And then you get a little bit of rose, which I think just adds a little bit of fullness. And then, I don't know, there's just like, there's almost a little bit of magnolia in there too. It's just lovely. And then on the dry down, which we haven't really got to yet, but there is a hint of it, is you get the suede. And I don't even know how they did it, but there is like this feeling of suede. And I don't even know, I don't really know how that would be because suede... I don't know, I don't really think of suede as a smell, I think of it as a texture. And it really does have this kind of suede texture to it. If you think that rose is quite velvety, this perfume is more suede. -y. And it's soft and it's comforting, but it's almost quite nostalgic. It kind of reminds me of like libraries or like an old country house, but like an estate-y kind of house rather than a cottage. I don't know, there's just something about it. It's like a worn beautiful chair do you know what i mean it's just there's something just really cozy and comforting about it but then of course that's balanced with the ripe fruit and the slight green notes and of course those gorgeous florals and it's just yeah it's just divine what else can i say about it um longevity wise i don't think it has the most longevity of all the joe malone perfumes i would say that like red roses last longer i would say you know uh pomegranate noir lasts longer i don't think this isn't too soft it's not like wood sage and sea salt but it's definitely i would say a mid mid longevity so you might want to top it up through the day or if you want it to last a little bit longer, you can mist some on your clothes and in your hair, and that usually helps to get a little bit more longevity. Or you can fragrance combine. And that's the next thing I want to talk about with this perfume, fragrance combining. So I think this perfume combines really beautifully. I do think if you add a little bit, if you add a little bit more to it, it really does amp up the oomph. And I love that. If you want to amp up the floral notes, I would say, put in a little bit of red roses i think it might make it a little bit more mature because it is quite a flirty more youthful fragrance it's more like if you're in your 20s this is like the perfect jo malone perfume um but it amps up the floral notes which i love and also i think red roses has really good longevity so it does also amp up the longevity um i would also say Marin tonka will make it a little bit more creamier a little bit more dark and mysterious maybe make it a bit more of an evening fragrance Wood sage and sea salt will add a real coastaliness and a bit of a saltiness to it. Probably won't amp up the longevity, so do be careful of that. But it will be really kind of like beautiful and outdoorsy. And then also, I don't know why, but I was like, I'm going to try it with such a wild card. And I tried it with oud and bergamot. I've just got this tiny bottle here. And look, it's not even in focus. What are you going to do? Um, but yeah, I tried it with a little bit of Oud and Bergamot. And I was like, this weirdly works. So I got Oud and Bergamot on this wrist. And I've got Peony and Blush Suede on this wrist. And I put them together. I really like it. I think the Bergamot brings out the juicy appliness. And it really talks to that. But then I think it also gives it a little bit more of a smoky 
dark mysteriousness. Um, I thought it might overpower the Peony and Blush Suede, but it actually doesn't. Um, and it's a really good combination. I would say only use a little bit of the Peony, no, I would say only use a little bit of the Eau de Mergamot and use a lot more of the Peony and Blush Suede. But these two together are weirdly, are weirdly good. They're like weirdly, woo, they're weirdly intoxicating. I think it's a good combo. Yeah, I was quite surprised at how well they work together. God, I really, do you know when you're like, do I need to buy a new camera? Which is better at focusing? I think I might do. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's a gorgeous combo. What else would I say about it? Oh, other perfumes that you might like from Jo Malone. If you like, if you like English Paraphrasia, I would say give Peony and Blush Suede a go. It's still got that fruity floralness. Um, I'd say it's a little bit less sweet. The apple is divine. I would say actually you could combine those two quite nicely and just get a little bit more fruit and a little bit more floral. And yeah, it might kind of make it make the two of them a little bit more complex. Um, so yeah, I'd say if you like English Paraphrasia, try Peony and Blush Suede. I would say if you like red roses, but you find it a little bit too rose and a little bit too mature, try English Paraphrasia. If you remember, if you remember the rose blush that they did, part of the Marmalade collection, I think. Um, they did it about two years ago. If you remember rose blush, I think Peony and Blush Suede has similarities to rose blush, which is worth noting because that was a limited edition perfume and it was so beautiful, but it doesn't exist anymore. Um, and then what else would I say it reminds me of? A bit of a wild card, but it reminds me a little bit of cardamom and mimosa, and I don't know why. It just does, and that could be a really interesting combination too, because it could add a little bit of spice to it, and it could be quite like, I don't know, it could be good, like flower market meets spice market, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's a gorgeous perfume, it's really lovely. I would say it's for any age woman, but it is definitely for more of a fun, flirtatious, very feminine woman and I would also say if you are kind of in your 20s and you're moving away from sweet sexy kind of high street perfumes but you're not quite ready to embrace the full-on chic elegance and like maturity of other Jo Malone fragrances I would say that this is a really good stepping stone from kind of like more youthful kind of like playful flirty perfumes to kind of something a little bit more elegant and mature um but yeah i think it's a beautiful perfume also finally sorry one more thing i swear i've got so much to say about this perfume which is crazy because i've never talked about it before um but finally i would say this is a perfume that i would buy as a gift it's not necessarily my personal favorite jo malone perfume but I think if I was buying Jo Malone as a gift, I would be choosing between either Peony and Blush Suede or English Paraphrasia because they're both beautiful and they're such crowd pleasers. Like I think they're perfumes which are really universal. I think everybody really loves them. I think they're just like lovely on everybody. I think they're just impossible not to like and not to get on with. And yeah, I just think they're real, they're both crowd pleasers, you know? And if I was buying gift and I wasn't sure what to go for, it would definitely be a toss up between Peony and Blush Suede or English Paraphrasia. So yeah, that is it. Also, I think it's actually a very good wedding day perfume or a bridesmaid perfume. And if you are getting married and you're wanting to buy your, buy your bridesmaids a little, a little gift, this could be a beautiful gift to give. Um, just a little bottle of Peony and Blush Suede. Anyway, that is my video. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I feel like I've really rambled on about this one, which is a little unexpected, but hopefully you don't mind. <gasps> Do you know what else it would be good with? Orange Blossom. <gasps> I bet it'd be good with either Orange Blossom or Nectarine and Honey. That would also be a good combo. Yeah. Anyway, that's my video. I'm gonna stop talking about it now, but it's beautiful, it's fun, it's flirty, it's just beautifully juicy and apple-y, but also just just blooming with peonies and loveliness. And then of course, it's got that really interesting texture and that really interesting, beautiful, warm, leathery, but suede base notes, which are just oh, lovely. It's lovely. Anyway, that's my video. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.